how to become a better cook. Today we talk about it coming right up. Hey, what's cooking guys? Marcel here again from Slamming It Out. Thank you for watching this video. I'm a professional chef and author and today we are talking about how to become a better cook. And if you like this content and videos, then why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel? Let's go. All right, how to become a better cook? I have been asked this question many times during my career and today I will share with you what I did in order to become a better cook and to improve my skills. Uh, first of all, at work. You uh, are in the kitchen, you work with other professional chefs. So what I did, I always would, would ask them uh, if they can show me this and train me on this uh, particular thing, I would always ask questions, questions after questions after questions. I would go on their nerves. You know? The kitchen is separated in many different sections also. As you know, there is a cold section, there is a hot section, there is a pastry section, there is even a butcher section in a larger kitchen operation. So what you want to do and what I did is to ask your boss, please boss, can I work the cold section for the next two or three months and after that I want to work the hot section and I want to uh, work in the pastry and the work uh, other sections. So why you want to do this? Of course you want to uh, learn, you want to, uh, you want to get more skills, you want to learn about the whole spectrum of the entire kitchen. This is what you want to do. This is very important in order to uh, grow and uh, eventually make a career later. And now today we have uh, YouTube. Yeah? Uh, there are many videos online which is very beautiful now these days uh, to watch the videos because you can really see uh, live also how certain uh, things are being done uh, which is, is much better than in the old days when uh, this is uh, point number three, uh, tip number three uh, when uh, you go to the bookstore, to the library. I was subscribing uh, to the library uh, and uh, lent books, uh, cookbooks. Uh, first, later management books, uh, kitchen management books, but I started with cookbooks first. I studied them, I teach myself, I trained myself and this is how I improved my, my cooking skills. And I also was uh, uh, going to the bookstores. I'm a big, uh, still today I'm collecting cookbooks. I'm a big, I'm a huge book fan. These kind of things, you know, it's, it's really up to you uh, how much you want to uh, learn. It's up to you. Go to the bookstores, buy a book or two, uh, watch a lot of YouTube uh, videos. This is how you become a better chef. And then what you learn in the books and what you see, what you watch on the videos, you can practice actually at home and also in your kitchen where you work. And don't forget to ask your boss and your supervisors to teach you something, to train you something and don't forget to hop around in the kitchen that you work all the section. You will need it later, uh, believe it or not. And uh, one last tip, if you're not happy at your work, if you're frustrated, if you're uh, um, disappointed with the amount of skill you learn there, if you, if you don't learn anything at all, then quit, hand in your resignation. This is also what I did before when I was fed up and I felt, oh, I'm not learning anything here. I'm just used to do some stupid work. It is not advancing my career and my skill and nothing. I just quit. I handed in my resignation. Bye bye. Okay, I hope I could help you with this video. Let me know in the comment section if, if you have any suggestions or questions or anything else. Let me know. Otherwise, you can also visit my website www.marcelrima.co. There you can find uh, many more videos and also my blog. And if this is not enough, I have something really beautiful here for you. This is my book. It's called Slamming It Out. I have released it last year. Inside this book, you can find many more tips, tricks and other tools in order to become a professional chef. It is available on Amazon and Kindle. And other than that, I want to wish you a great week ahead. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. And don't forget, always keep slamming it out, of course. Take care. Bye bye.